Tom. And now at 9 o'clock, making crude oil from city wastewater and algae. Many might think it to be impossible, but scientists in Daphne say they've figured out a way to do exactly that. Local 15's Christina's Verjaco takes a closer look at this innovative technology. For several years now, scientists at the algae systems plant in Daphne have been working quietly on a project they say is unlike any other. I started to think about things that we could do that would both provide fresh water and create carbon negative fuel. And they found a way to do so using algae. We started by uh, taking an algae culture from the local environment and raising it up, giving it great uh, living conditions so that we cultivate a nice little harvest of it. Then from a lab to a greenhouse, the cultivated algae goes. Take it up to a larger scale and grow it out a little bit more, keep feeding it and feeding it, and then we take it and put it out into bags and we feed it the nutrients that are existent in normal, common, everyday household wastewater. This is done in Mobile Bay, thanks to the help of waves and sunshine. After about four or five days, the algae have eaten everything in the water, and we bring it ashore, harvest it, separate out the water from the algae. When all the work is done here, this is what the final product looks like. Clean water and crude oil. It's hard to believe that it all started with wastewater and algae. Algae is enormously productive. When you think about the amount of biomass that algae can produce in a very short time, it's extraordinary. So one algae cell at a time, the hope is that one day, this process will change the way fuel is derived and water is purified. That's part of the future. That's what we want to do is usher in the future. In Daphne, Christina Sverjako, Local 15 News. Well, Daphne officials have also praised algae systems for their contributions to the city. Since the opening of the lab, more than $5 million has been invested by the company into the local economy.